Sunrisers returned to action in the Rachel Hayho Flint Trophy, but went down to a six-wicket defeat to Central Sparks in Northwood. Put into bat in some testing conditions, openers Cordelia Griffith and Grace Scrivens batted with necessary due care and attention and were rewarded by getting through a tough power play in which they had 40 runs on the board. Boundaries were at a premium against some stingy bowling which offered little to hit. This pair eventually taking their partnership to 67, even though that used up 17 of the 42 overs available after early rain. Scrivens fell when hitting across a flighty delivery from Anisha Patel and being trapped in front for a hard working 26. A new batter didn't really alter the momentum of the innings. Alice McLeod joining Griffith to continue to build brick by brick, run by run. 25 overs in and the total read 100 for one with much work to be done for the remaining 17 overs. To her credit, the informed Griffith reached her half century with her 6 4. She needed 76 deliveries to get to her mark in a knock which once again emphasised her skills and application to the job. With that done, McLeod picked the moment to try to increase the tempo, the number three providing just the innings which was required at this stage. The total looking healthy on 144 for one after 31 overs. Griffith would have hoped to kick on in the last 11, but instead on 69, she used a leading edge to find Marie Kelly off Eve Jones. Fran Wilson followed quickly without scoring, bowled by Rhea Fackrell, who was tidy at the death. She next had Naomi Titani on her way for seven, Sunrisers slipping to 163 for four in over number 35. The cloud was still there, however, and looking to give her side a big finish as she moved on to 46 with her sixth boundary. For the last, she was out next ball, edging Jones behind and leaving with her team treading water at just the wrong time. Fackrell then castled Kelly Castle, gone for eight with Sunrisers now on 178 for six with 23 balls of their innings to go. They ended on 204 for seven, Joanne Gardner out to the last ball of the innings. Having reached 144 for one after 31 overs, to end on 204 for seven from 42 was a tad disappointing. To restore equilibrium, Sunrisers could now do with some early breakthroughs with the ball in hand. Instead, they allowed Jones and Kelly a life each, as the two openers got through some troublesome times with the new ball to take 84 runs off the target for the first 14 overs. Scrivens finally ended the partnership as Jones drove her to Titani in the covers to fall for 31. But Sparks had three figures on the board in the 18th over to keep them well ahead of the rate. Kelly completed a runner ball 50 and with Davina Perrin, who turned 15 only two days before, the total was carried to 112 when Kelly was bowled by Kate Kopak for 58, her job as an opener just about perfectly done. In a week where another teenage girl has made headlines, Perrin can hold her head up high. She fell for 15 courtesy of a special catch by Emily Thorpe. Renan Davies, with some help from Thea Brooks, then took over to help her side over the line in relative comfort. Davy struck the only six of the match, the ball before completing a 57 delivery 50, an innings which had taken the game away from the hosts. She fell 450 with only two runs needed, a consolation prize only for Gayatri Goal. The winning run came with 28 balls to spare, Brooks helping herself to 22 to send Sunrisers to a fifth loss from five in this tournament. Each contest, though, a learning experience. They lost this one by six wickets, but will go again on Sunday in Chelmsford when they take on the current leaders of the table, the Southern Vipers.